everyone, I'm Jen and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a layered SVG in Design Space using a Design Space image from the library. This comes especially in handy when you find an image that you love, but it's only a black and white outline. So this essentially is gonna show you how to add colors to that image um, so that you can use it in your project, whether it be vinyl, adhesive vinyl, HTV for a t-shirt or whatever else. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was open up Design Space, log in and click on a new project. Then I'm going to click on images. And earlier I did a search for mermaid. I'm just gonna scroll down. I found an image that's adorable, but only in black and white. And I'm gonna show you how to add colors. Here she is. We're gonna in click on insert. Now, she is a black and white image and we want to add colors to each piece of her. In order to do that, we have to isolate the piece that we want to color. And in order to do that, we are going to use the contour feature. So first step is to duplicate. We want to leave that original one intact. Let's say the first step is we want to color her tail. So we need to isolate her tail. By to do that, we are going to click on contour and we are going to eliminate everything else besides the tail. Here's her tail. I didn't click on it because that's what I want to stay. So I just deleted everything. As you can see, we are left with her tail. And let's say I want that to be a green color. I can either choose this green right here, or if you want to get a better sense, let's say you were gonna change it to like a turquoise color, you could click on advanced and go in the little guide here and choose your custom color. I like that, so we're gonna leave that there. Next step, let's say we want to change her little, looks like a shirt almost here because it has a little scoop neck and we want to do that. So once again, we have to duplicate so we can contour out everything except her shirt. So once again, click on contour, get rid of everything except her, you see her little shirt? And whenever you're not sure, click on it. You see that? Light gray means it was eliminated, dark gray means it's still there. So we know we have the right spot. We are going to delete everything else. And now we have her little shirt. And let's say I wanted that to be a pretty pink color. Okay, so now we have her shirt. Next up, why don't we do her face and arms? So once again, you always have to remember to duplicate. So now here we have a duplicated image and we want to eliminate everything except her face and her arms. So here, as you can see, that's her face. And this is one arm. This is the other arms, just showing you. So this way you can see when it's blinking when you click on, when you click on it so you know which layer you're dealing with. So now we're left with her face and her arms. We're going to make that, let's say, a skin tone color and go a little lighter in here or darker whichever shade you wanted to do for her depending on the vinyl that you're going to use now we want to do her hair so now same steps we're going to contour everything out except her hair so here's her hair right there once again just click get rid of it now she has black hair let's say we wanted to change that to red hair have a little mermaid vibe going on and now let's say we want to have the star be a color let's say we'll do a yellow for the star so once again duplicate and let's isolate everything except the star And now you can see there's two layers for the star. So we'll work that out. Obviously this is the outer one. So we'll keep the inner one. We'll change the inner one to yellow. And we can leave that black outline if we wanted to. So when you piece this together, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna bring everything back and this is how it's going to be. And I know you're saying, wait, but that's covering her eyes and her mouth. So what you could do is make sure you still have that layer selected, click Arrange, send to back, 
and now you see her eyes and her mouth. And then we've got her hair. Same thing, we, as long as it's selected, arrange, send to back. So you see the star is still there. We want to keep that black outline. And then we have the little star, so that stands out. Now, this is how you can keep it. If you look here in the layers panel, you'll see that everything stayed as just an outline. So if I were to remove that, and change, this is how you can check. Go to your canvas color, change it to turquoise. You see that this is transparent, right? So whatever you have here is gonna show through. You have two options, depending on your project. You can either leave this as an outline, and the first thing you would do is um, put this down, um, but however, you have the eyes and the mouth that you need to worry about in the star. You could contour those out and have those be separate pieces that you cut and then layer on top. Or you can keep the outline, you can duplicate it, and you can give yourself a background. As you can see, this is the whole mermaid. So this is just showing you, depending on where you're putting this, how you're applying it is kind of a second feature for this. You can make it this one whole shape. This way it's a little easier for you to layer. You can bring the hair over first once again, click that, send it back so everything goes in the front. And then once you once you have this thicker black layer on your project, then you can layer everything on top of it. You've got your face. You have the little, and it gives you a little room because you have the outline now. You have a little shirt. You see that? You have your mermaid tail. So it gives you a little bit of room for error when you're layering because you have this thicker layer behind the colors. And we could change our canvas color just by clicking blank canvas, changing your color, let's say to blue, so you can tell what everything is. And then if you choose to go that route, then what you could do is now take this original image Let's change this back so you can see what I'm doing. You can duplicate. And then what we can do is we can take everything we can keep the mouth, the eyes, and the outer star. That can be its own separate cut. We'll bring that right over here in front. So now that's also a layer. And bring your little star over. It's in the back, so we'll just bring it to the front. And you can click your star. Now you kind of don't need your outline anymore. You can just select and delete it. And you have your layered SVG. And simply, all you need to do is check your color sync panel. You see the black, the red, the yellow. Click on make it just to make sure the black is all the same shade because sometimes it changes. So you can see here we have our mermaid outline and we have our star and our eyes and our mouth. And this is how everything is going to cut by color. You could put down the black silhouette first and then layer the colors on top. And that's it. Okay, everyone, so that was just one example of how you could take a design space image that was a simple black and white outline and turn it into this layered design with colors that pop so that you can then take and either cut out of adhesive vinyl and apply to a water bottle or cut out of HGT HGTV or cut out of HTV and apply to a t-shirt or a cute bag. You have tons of possibilities. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it helped you for your next project. You learned something new. Of course, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please make sure to leave them in the comment section and I'll answer as soon as possible. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.